Relativistic quantum chemistry combines relativistic mechanics with quantum chemistry to explain elemental properties and structure, especially for the heavier elements of the periodic table. A prominent example of such an explanation is the color of gold. Due to relativistic effects, it is not silvery like most other metals. The term relativistic effects was developed in light of the history of quantum mechanics. Initially quantum mechanics was developed without considering the theory of relativity. Relativistic effects are those discrepancies between values calculated by models that consider and that do not consider relativity. Relativistic effects are important for the heavier elements with high atomic numbers. In the most common layout of the periodic table, these elements are shown in the lower area. Examples are the lanthanides and actinides. Relativistic effects in chemistry can be considered to be perturbations, or small corrections, to the non relativistic theory of chemistry, which is developed from the solutions of the Schrödinger equation. These corrections affect the electrons differently depending on the electron speed relative to the speed of light. Relativistic effects are more prominent in heavy elements because only in these elements do electrons attain sufficient speeds for the elements to have properties that differ from what non-relativistic chemistry predicts. History Beginning in 1935, Bertha Swirls described a relativistic treatment of a many electron system, in spite of Paul Dirac's 1929 assertion that the only imperfections remaining in quantum mechanics give rise to difficulties only when high speed particles are involved, and are therefore of no importance in the consideration of atomic and molecular structure and ordinary chemical reactions in which it is, indeed, usually sufficiently accurate if one neglects relativity variation of mass and velocity and assumes only Coulomb forces between the various electrons and atomic atomic nuclei Theoretical chemists by and large agreed with Dirac's sentiment until the 1970s when relativistic effects were observed in heavy elements The Schrodinger equation had been developed without considering relativity in Schrodinger's 1926 paper Relativistic corrections were made to the Schrödinger equation, see Klein-Gordon equation, to explain the fine structure of atomic spectra, but this development and others did not immediately trickle into the chemical community. Since atomic spectral lines were largely in the realm of physics and not in that of chemistry, most chemists were unfamiliar with relativistic quantum mechanics, and their attention was on lighter elements typical for the organic chemistry focus of the time. Dirac's opinion on the role relativistic quantum mechanics would play for chemical systems is wrong for two reasons. First, electrons in S and P atomic orbitals travel at a significant fraction of the speed of light. Second, relativistic effects cause indirect consequences that are especially evident for D and F atomic orbitals. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Qualitative treatment. One of the most important and familiar results of relativity is that the relativistic mass of the electron increases by m r e l equals m e 1 minus v e c 2 
Display style M underscore room REL equals frac M underscore room E S Q R T one V underscore room E C carrot two where M E V E C Display style, display style M underscore E, V underscore E, C are the electron rest mass, velocity of the electron, and speed of light respectively. The figure at the right illustrates the relativistic effects on the mass of an electron as a function of its velocity. This has an immediate implication on the Bohr radius. Zero. Display style. Display style. A underscore zero. Which is given by a zero equals m e c alpha. Display style a underscore zero equals frac h b a r m underscore room e c alpha, where display style h b a r is the reduced Planck's constant and alpha is the fine structure constant, a relativistic correction for the Bohr model. Arnold Sommerfeld calculated that, for a 1's electron of a hydrogen atom with an orbiting radius of 0.0529 nm, alpha approximately equals 1 137. That is to say, the fine structure constant shows the electron traveling at nearly 1 137 the speed of light. One can extend this to a larger element by using the expression V approximately equals Z C, 137 for a 1's electron where V is its radial velocity. For gold with Z topic 79, the 1's electron will be going alpha. 0.58 c 58% of the speed of light plugging this in for v c for the relativistic mass one finds that mrel equals 1.22 me and in turn putting this in for the bohr radius above one finds that the radius shrinks by 22% if one substitutes in the relativistic mass into the equation for the Bohr radius it can be written A R E L equals 1 minus V E C 2 M E C alpha display style a underscore room R E L equals frac H B A R S Q R T one V underscore room E C carrot two M underscore room E C alpha. It follows that A R E L a zero equals one minus V E C two Display style frac a underscore room REL a underscore zero equals SQRT one V underscore room E C carrot two at right, the above ratio of the relativistic and non-relativistic Bohr radii has been plotted as a function of the electron velocity. Notice how the relativistic model shows the radius decreasing with increasing velocity.
When the Bohr treatment is extended to hydrogenic atoms, the Bohr radius becomes R equals N two two four Pi Epsilon zero M E Z E two Display style R equals frac N carrot two H B A R carrot two four Pi var epsilon underscore zero M underscore room E Z carrot two where N Display style N is the principal quantum number and Z is an integer for the atomic number. From quantum mechanics the angular momentum is given as m v e r equals n display style mv underscore room e r equals n h b a r substituting into the equation above and solving for v Display style v gives r equals m v e r n four pi epsilon zero m z e Two display style r equals frac m v underscore e r n h b a r four pi var epsilon underscore zero m z e carrot two one equals v e n four pi epsilon Zero Z E two Display style one equals frac V underscore room E N H B A R four Pi Var epsilon underscore zero Z carrot two V E equals Z E two N four Pi Epsilon zero Display style V underscore room E equals frac Z carrot two N H B A R four Pi Var Epsilon underscore zero From this point atomic units can be used to simplify the expression into V E equals Z N display style V underscore room E equals frac Z N substituting this into the expression for the Bohr ratio mentioned above gives A R E L A zero equals one minus Z N C two Display style F R A C are underscore room R E L are underscore zero equals S Q R T one left frac Z N C right carrot two at this point one can see that for a low value of N display style N and a high value of Z display style Z that A R E L A O one display style frac are underscore room R E L are underscore zero this fits with intuition, electrons with lower principal quantum numbers will have a higher probability density of being nearer to the nucleus. 
A nucleus with a large charge will cause an electron to have a high velocity. A higher electron velocity means an increased electron relativistic mass, as a result the electrons will be near the nucleus more of the time and thereby contract the radius for small principal quantum numbers. Periodic table deviations The periodic table was constructed by scientists who noticed periodic trends in known elements of the time. Indeed, the patterns found in it is what gives the periodic table its power. Many of the chemical and physical differences between the sixth period and the fifth period arise from the larger relativistic effects for the former. These relativistic effects are particularly large for gold and its neighbors, platinum and mercury. mercury. Mercury Hg is a liquid down to minus 39 degrees Celsius C melting point M P Bonding forces are weaker for Hg Hg bonds than for its immediate neighbors such as cadmium M P 321 degrees Celsius and gold M P 1064 degrees Celsius the lanthanide contraction is a partial explanation, however, it does not entirely account for this anomaly. In the gas phase mercury is alone in metals in that it is quite typically found in a monomeric form as Hg G. Hg22 plus G also forms and it is a stable species due to the relativistic shortening of the bond. Hg2 G does not form because the 6-2 orbital is contracted by relativistic effects and may therefore only weakly contribute to any bonding, in fact Hg Hg bonding must be mostly the result of van der Waals forces, which explains why the bonding for Hg Hg is weak enough to allow for Hg to be a liquid at room temperature, O2 G and Hg G are analogous, at the least in having the same nature of difference, to H2 G and He G. It is for the relativistic contraction of the 6-2 orbital that gaseous mercury can be called a pseudo-noble gas. <laughs> <laughs> Color of gold and cesium The reflectivity of aluminum Al, silver Ag, and gold o is shown in the graph to the right. The human eye sees electromagnetic radiation with a wavelength near 600 nm as yellow. Gold appears yellow because it absorbs blue light more than it absorbs other visible wavelengths of light. The reflected light reaching the eye is therefore lacking in blue compared to the incident light. Since yellow is complementary to blue, this makes a piece of gold under white light appear yellow to human eyes. The electronic transition from the 5d orbital to the 6 orbital is responsible for this absorption. An analogous transition occurs in silver, but the relativistic effects are smaller than in gold. While silver's 4d orbital experiences some relativistic expansion and the 5s orbital some contraction, the 4d 5s distance in silver is still much greater than the 5d 6s distance in gold. The relativistic effects increase the 5d orbital's distance from the atom's nucleus and decrease the 6 orbital's distance. A similar effect occurs in the metal cesium, the heaviest of the alkali metals which can be collected in quantities sufficient for viewing. Whereas the other alkali metals are silver white, cesium has a golden hue.
Topic: <laughs> Lead acid battery. Without relativity, lead would be expected to behave much like tin, so tin acid batteries should work just as well as the lead acid batteries commonly used in cars. However, calculations show that about 10 volts of the 12 volts produced by a lead acid battery arises purely from relativistic effects, explaining why tin acid batteries do not work. Inert pair effect In Tl I thallium, Pb lead, and Bi bismuth complexes a 6–2 electron pair exists. The inert pair effect is the tendency of this pair of electrons to resist oxidation due to a relativistic contraction of the 6 orbital. topic other effects additional phenomena commonly caused by relativistic effects are the following orophilicity the stability of the gold anion o- in compounds such as csau the crystal structure of lead which is face centered cubic instead of diamond like the striking similarity between zirconium and hafnium The stability of the urinal cation, as well as other high oxidation states in the early actinides The small atomic radii of francium and radium About 10% of the lanthanide contraction is attributed to the relativistic mass of high velocity electrons and the smaller bore radius that results in the case of gold significantly more than 10% of its contraction is due to relativistically heavy electrons and gold element 79 is almost twice as dense as lead element 82 <laughs> <laughs> 